Hello, and welcome to another episode of C.N. Smith's Top Book Recommendations. And today, I'll be discussing five things I like about this book. Let's do it. Welcome back. And today's top recommended book is The Master of Mindfulness, How to Be Your Own Superhero in Times of Stress by Lori Grossman, Angelina Alvarez, and Mr. Musumeki's fifth grade class. So let's just hop right into it. The first thing I like is fifth graders wrote this book. And you know what, they also have some illustrations that they uh, added to the book as well. So Mr. Musumeki's fifth grade class of 2013 through 2014 from Reach Academy in East Oakland, California learned mindfulness. And then they got together under the, rec under the direction of their teacher, Lori Grossman and Angelina Alvarez to write this book. This is so cool because just because someone is young, it doesn't mean they can't teach or lead by example. Okay, the second thing I like is mindfulness is explained in an easy to understand way. So what is mindfulness? It is defined in this book as a tool to help one calm down and deal with difficult things. And it can even help one avoid distractions in order to concentrate better. Now, who wouldn't want to learn that? <laughs> in other words, mindfulness is a big part of social and emotional intelligence. Children and even adults <laughs> need to learn uh, how to uh, cope and handle stress when it arises. So I think this is the perfect time to learn mindfulness, don't you? Okay, the third thing I like about this book is that examples are given of how to know when you may need to use mindfulness and examples of when these students used mindfulness to help them in their lives during difficult situations. So some of the examples given in the book are, you know, when one student talks about their experience when they uh, felt jealous and they used mindfulness to deal with that. Or uh, one student said they were sad, okay? And, and it was in relation to like a loved one. Uh, they were missing a loved one that couldn't be with them. And then there was another example of a student when someone got mad when they jumped in front of the line, <laughs> the school lunch line in the cafeteria. So the student used mindfulness to deal with that. So and I think there was another one here about when a student got bullied. So um, I really like how these students are sharing examples of when to use it and how they used mindfulness in their own personal experience. Okay, the fourth thing I like is how the practice of mindfulness affects the brain. That is shown in this book. Now, I love this because it teaches children that the mind and body are not separate. They're, in fact, very, very much connected. Our choices, our emotional state, how we react or respond to our circumstances have an actual effect on our physical body. And this is shown in science on um, the brain. It shows how it affects our brain. And so this is so vital for, for children to learn and know. Okay, so the fifth thing I like is the practice of mindfulness is taught to the reader step by step. So first, you know, you go through the book and they talk about what mindfulness is, how it affects the brain, when you might need to use it. And now at the end of the book, uh, there are steps, okay, that uh, is shared with the reader. So we're, we're let in on the fun, okay? So <laughs> the reader is shown <clears throat> 
the students of the fifth grade class practicing and modeling mindful breathing. Okay, so the self-talk they say to themselves when the feelings of stress arise, um, how and when to use a body scan, a body scan, uh, and what mindful eating looks like, and the list goes on. There's also scripts in the back of the book that further breaks down mindfulness practices into smaller, easier to digest steps. Okay, so anyone can learn this and teach this. So this, this book is awesome. So let me tell you uh, how, why I think this book is useful, okay? So I gave you the five things I like, but let me just expound upon that. So have you ever found uh, or discovered that something was missing in your house and five people lived there and nobody knows what the heck happened, but you got five people in the house? <laughs> okay, why is that? Because, you know, the people in the house aren't practicing mindfulness. So one has to slow down and just be aware of what's going on in their surroundings and lessen the distraction. So let me give you an example of that. When I walk in the house, I always put my keys. I'm keenly aware of where I always put my keys. So that way, because you know, life happens to us. So as soon as we get in the house, whatever, it's like a bunch of stuff that could probably just start going on, especially if you have young ones. So I'm mindful and I'm aware that I'm always gonna put my stuff in the same spot. So if it's not there, I can go back and retrace my steps, but I'm mindful because I'm walking in the house, I know what I'm doing. And this is a very, very useful tool to have, okay? Um, and without going on and on and on, I've used mindfulness for years, I think since 2000, gosh, like eight, when I first found out about it, and it's like helped me tremendously and that's why I purchased this book for my son uh, so I, I just I just think you guys would really enjoy this book it's going to be helpful and not only will it be helpful for your kids because there's so many distractions that are going on I mean video games you know the media you know some of these rappers and that's a whole different story <laughs> altogether you know just music just everything is calling the attention of your young one and it's like hey come over here don't you understand what you just ate didn't why did you overeat this book will help mindfulness will help okay well that's all i have for today i hope you enjoyed today's episode and i'll see you next time on cn smith's top book recommendations.